welcome to Credit Matters TV. As part of our China Credit Spotlight series, I'm here with our Hong Kong-based analyst, Gloria Liu, who's going to tell us a little bit about the energy and utility sector in China. Welcome, Gloria. Thank you, Cecilia. Um, so my first question is, how are Chinese city gas distributors coping with cost hike, given that the NDRC raised the natural gas price in July 2013 this year? We think Chinese city gas operator can largely manage the cost hike this time by passing on through the increased cost to the end user. We noticed uh, this uh, um, price increase only affects the long residential user. Uh, chi in China, currently, uh, there's a lack of the transparent uh, tariff uh, setting and adjustment mechanism. However, for Chinese city gas operator, um, they have a good record of passing on increased costs to the long residential users. And, and also, uh, we know, out of the total city gas sales volume of the companies, uh, up to 70 to 80 percent of the sales are sold to non residential users. So in summary, we think that uh, this price hike of the natural gas would have a limited impact to the Chinese city gas uh, operators. And can you highlight some of the challenges faced by um, Chinese power companies in order to strengthen their financial position? Um, 2013 uh, will be a year for Chinese power company to consolidate the financial threats. That benefits from lower coal price and stable tariffs this year. Um, but we also think there are some challenges they are facing. First um, is the still aggressive uh, expansion strategy. If Chinese power company continue their debt-funded large capital expenditure going forward, that would make their delivery efforts very difficult. Second is the slowing China economy and industry activities, which made um, uh, the power consumption uh, uh, lower than before. Third is about the uh, China new uh, price linkage mechanism between the coal price uh, and uh, ta electricity tariffs. Under this new mechanism, um, if the coal price in 2013 dropped by more than 5 percent, the, e the electricity tariffs in 2014 uh, will be adjusted accordingly. So therefore, in short term, that would have negative impact on Chinese power company. But in the longer term, I think this mechanism is positive for Chinese power company because that will help them to manage their, their cost and also do a, a better operation management. Now, you've mentioned in your report that the price reform for the utilities and energy sector is likely to speed up in the next two to three years. How would that affect the credit profile of the sector overall? Since last year, uh, in China, the commodity price and also the inflation rates are relatively low, and that has been conductive for Chinese uh, authorities to push forward the price reform in energy and utility sectors. Um, we believe the pace of the, the price reform will continue or even speed up over the next two to three years. Uh, in China, uh, if Chinese government um, has set up a very powerful or uh, uh, effective uh, regulatory regime, in particular setting up a transparent and predictable of tariff setting mechanism, that would be a positive uh, rating factor for Chinese uh, utility companies. Uh, because under such mechanism, uh, Chinese utilities can effectively um, recover the operating cost and investment cost in timely manner. Thanks very much for your time today, Gloria. You're welcome. And thank you for watching Credit Matters TV. We'll see you next time.